Welcome! In this tutorial I will show you how to use Lottie files. Lottie is an interesting approach work with animation, some kind of SVG so or SVG or illustrations. So you have some kind of image and it's animated and you can manage it, work with it as you need. For example, let's go to discover and uh, free use animations. You can select any anim animation you like. There is not a huge options to choose, but anyway, you have something. For example, you need loader, some customized loader and um, how it works. As you see, you can, it's, you can handle the progress. You can run it reverse or front as it works. You can change animation speed. You can change background easily. You can change even colors of this animation. And everything is customizable. Also, you can configure this. You can configure behavior. Okay, let's save it. And now you can download it and it will be downloaded as JSON. It's not SVG, not PNG, not the image, it's JSON and then you can reuse it. For example, let's download it and um, try to use inside the application, React application. So we have empty React application, localhost 3000. Here is file, project in the client folder, nothing interesting for now. So to use this Lottie files, we will use Lo React Lottie library. And uh, as you see, we will import Lottie, we will import JSON with animation and uh, render it. Also, we can, uh, as, you, as I said, run some animations, manage behavior because of we have some props for this library. Let's try and save. React Lottie. I will call a yarn add React Lottie. Then import this one. The next we need the image we downloaded. So, so I will copy it here and rename loader, for example. So as you see, it's regular JSON. We can format it and uh, really nothing interesting what you can find here. But it's useful JSON. Okay, now let's import the loader from loader JSON and we will add this Lottie, what do we need? Uh, we need pass options and close. Now let's define these options. Uh, what we have, we will set that it should be looped, auto play, uh, animation data it's, uh, uh, it's uh, animation itself, uh, image, in our case JSON, and some rendering settings. Let's copy all these settings, put it here and animation data it's loader. Okay, let's check what do we have. Mm -hmm. Here we are, as you see, we have this animation, looks pretty big one, but 
it's rendered as SVG. As you see, it's great because of it's super resizable. You can resize and without losing quality. Okay, and now first of all, let's set some, um, let's check props and we need put size. So we have width, options required, and we have width, height. Okay, for example, width should be 100, it's some kind of pixels. And now, as you see, it's smaller, much more, much smaller. 100 pixels. Okay, let's increase a bit. And now we can add uh, some buttons to manage it. Stop. Okay, how we can manage this behavior? We have some event listeners. We can subscribe on any event. We have all the events you can find um, not here. Okay, so as you see, we can manage it by passing is stopped is post options. Okay, let's do it. is post will be is post and uh, is stopped is stopped uh, we need the import uh, use state from react and uh, inside application By default, it will be false. And the const is stopped with two p. And function set is stopped. Use it false as well. Then we need uh, we will pass it, and inside the buttons we need on the click handle it set is stopped. It's not is stopped. Opposite value. The same for run on the click. It's a function set is post is post. Okay. Let's check. So as you see, it stopped. And we can run it. Really great approach. Also, uh, we can manage some behavior of these animations. For example, let's open animation. And uh, we will have interactivity. It's a great feature. For example, you want to enable this animation during, during the scroll. For example, as you see, it's animation. When you scroll, it behaves as animation with all the quality sizing so you can easily configure uh, animation with um, behavior 
sync Loki with scroll, for example. And all other stuff. Really, really interesting approach. So I would recommend you to take a look at these animations and find out how it works. As you see, it can it may work when you hover on it, or when you scroll, or with the cursor. works on click really amazing stuff so it's one of a way to work with animations in react so thank you for watching if you have any questions leave a comment and uh, good luck